Hello, my name is Ken Small and I'm with SSA Architecture in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today we're going to talk about how to pour or design an ADA compliant sidewalk. So um, we're here with this uh, Smart Level and uh, Smart Level is a mandatory tool for uh, pouring sidewalks on commercial projects nowadays and a, a very good idea for even a residence. And what we're looking at when we're talking about pouring uh, concrete and designing concrete is A, um, we need good quality concrete with a good finish on the top of it. Uh, this is a sand finish, but a broom finish is even better for ADA compliance. And we need to have the right slopes. So if you're looking behind me and you see a sidewalk going in the direction that you would walk, the maximum allowable slope in the direction of the path of travel is 5%. Once you exceed 5%, you're building a ramp. So 5% is the limit, and ideally it would be zero, just dead level flat. But of course, you're following the terrain, so that's what you're going to do. And then the uh, part that uh, stresses everybody out is the cross slope. And so the cross slope means, if you look at this level, it's the across the sidewalk slope from the low side over to the left, to the high side, to the right, or vice versa. Now, there's other ways to design a sidewalk besides this one, but I'm going to give you the simplest way and the easiest way to think about it. If this is a 10 foot wide sidewalk, that's 120 inches. You want any slope at all on the sidewalk so that there's not water remaining on the sidewalk when it rains, that it will it will not pond and there's always going to be little imperfections that will collect water. So the real minimum cross slope that you want is one half of one percent and according to the ADA the maximum cross slope is two percent and you don't want to design to two percent because things happen while they're building so you want to stay below it. So right in the middle of a half percent and two percent is one percent. So let's do the simple math. 10 feet, 120 inches, 1% would be 1.2 inches. So if we decided that side's the high side and that side's the low side, then the high side is 1.2 inches above the low side. If you wanted a half of 1%, it would be half of that, so 0.6 inches, which is uh, about 5 eighths of an inch. And if you wanted to go to the maximum cross slope of 2%, you would be at 2.4 inches, but you really wouldn't want to go that far. You'd be pressing the limit too close, so you might go to two and a quarter inches total cross slope across a 10 foot wide uh, sidewalk. Obviously, if the sidewalk's only five feet wide and we're talking percentages, all those numbers are cut in half. So uh, you want that uh, cross slope to get the water off it so that it's not slick, people aren't falling, it's not ponding water like that and um, so what you're going to do normally is you're going to pick one side or the other to be the high side of the sidewalk so if we want our water to go that way that's the low side if we want our water to go that way that's the low side and um, you don't want to try to drain water in the direction of travel if there's a choice you can make the sidewalk uh, flat level uh, in the cross slope and drain water in the direction of travel but not for long and so you see that in a curb ramp often that they're draining the water down into the street in a curb ramp but on a sidewalk it's not normally done because water makes concrete slippery so we don't want to do that so when we're designing a, a project we're going to look at the existing topography and we're going to compare it with trying to achieve that uh, cross slope and that slope in the direction of travel and try to reduce the amount of cutting of the existing grade and filling back. Now on the edge of the sidewalk you also don't want to drop off so that somebody who's a wheelchair user would get close to the edge or a walker user and they would roll that wheel off to the edge and then they'll fall. So not a good idea. So you're going to bring your grade back fairly close to level with the top of the sidewalk when all is said and done. Anyway, um, that's about it. Um, there's a lot to it, of course. Um, you could take a year and not understand all the options, but that's the simple way to go about it. And if you do it that way, it's hard to go wrong. And 
Yes, there's a lot more complicated ways to do it. There's a lot of detail about how to do your joints and so on, but that's the basics of the design. My name is Ken Small and I'm with SSA Architecture in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I appreciate your time in watching this, and if you would please like it and share it, we'd greatly appreciate it. We also work as ADA consultants in addition to design architects. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.